buildings aren't what they used to be. Today, buildings are becoming smarter as they integrate technology and automation into their operations. Through sensor-enabled devices, buildings can respond to changing environmental conditions, such as air quality, lighting levels, and occupancy levels, in real time to optimize efficiency, sustainability, and comfort. Intelligent buildings are so smart, in fact, that they can talk to you through the data and analytics they share. This information can then be captured, correlated, analyzed, and ultimately leveraged to reduce costs, improve safety and collaboration, and enhance well-being. Intelligent buildings are also becoming more common. Worldwide, the number of intelligent buildings is projected to climb from 45 million in 2022 to 115 million in 2026. That's an increase of more than 150%. Let's consider a basic example of how traditional buildings and intelligent buildings are different. In a traditional building, lights are manually turned on and off by people. If someone turns the lights on out of habit, even if the lights aren't needed, then they remain on until somebody shuts them off. If someone forgets to turn the lights off when they leave the space, then the lights remain on. In an intelligent building, however, sensors and controls can manage lighting automatically. For example, sensors can determine how much natural light is in a space at a given time and whether people are there. Based on what it senses, the building can determine whether artificial lighting is needed to supplement the natural light coming into the space through windows or skylights. As daylight levels change throughout the day, the building can automatically adjust artificial lighting levels to optimize energy use, improve visual comfort, and reduce operating costs. Because the systems and devices that make up an intelligent building run on the network, Unplanned downtime for power and data networks needs to be avoided at all costs. If the network is down, then so is your building. For this reason, intelligent buildings need centralized, policy-controlled backups and power management platforms to support their mission-critical applications. For more than 130 years, AC has been the nation's universal standard for power. It still works the same way it did in the late 1890s, and it's still just as dangerous. While power distribution methods haven't changed, the technology we all rely on is changing incredibly fast. After more than a century, we think it's time for an electricity upgrade so that power distribution methods can keep up with new technology demands, like those from intelligent buildings. The innovation that drives today's intelligent buildings requires a power platform that can power business-critical applications and devices, while offering the safety, flexibility, and installation speed of a common USB cable. It's an exciting time in the world of electricity. The transformation of power distribution is finally happening thanks to the development of fault-managed power systems, also known as Class 4 systems. Fault-managed power makes power distribution faster, more flexible, more manageable, and more controllable than conventional electricity methods have allowed. It also enhances safety by eliminating the electrical hazards associated with AC power. To protect people from the dangers of AC power, the hazards found in conventional distribution systems are managed by equipment like breakers, GFCIs or ground fault circuit interrupters, and AFCIs or arc fault circuit interrupters. Unlike with current electrical distribution, these protections aren't needed for fault-managed power users. This is because fault-managed power detects, reacts to, and protects against fault conditions to ensure safe operation and failure modes without the requirement of additional safety equipment. Just like today's buildings are becoming more intelligent, fault-managed power systems are also more intelligent than previous forms of power. They constantly monitor for faults and control power current delivery during abnormal conditions to mitigate the risk of shock or fire. Fault-managed power is the only technology that can detect touch faults, which also known as resistive faults and line-to-line -line faults. This means they can tell the difference between the electrical load and a human touching the wires.
This new type of power is moving quickly into the mainstream. With the 2023 edition of the National Electrical Code, which was released in fall 2022, fault-managed power is recognized for the first time. Class 4 systems are unique and specialized enough that they have their own code section within the National Electrical Code. Class 4 circuit requirements can now be found in Article 726, Class 4 fault-managed power systems. Cables for Class 4 systems can be found under Article 722. To support new Article 726, UL, a third-party certification company, has also been working behind the scenes to prepare for Class 4 systems. It recently published UL 1400-1, which is an outline of investigation that encompasses requirements for fault-managed power systems to ensure their safe installation and operation. It also published UL 1400-2, which is an outline of investigation that encompasses requirements for Class 4 cables. Let's take a look at a real Class 4 system in use today. Digital electricity, invented by VoltServer, is a Class 4 or fault-managed power system. It enables a completely new way to distribute power, making electricity easier to work with and safer to touch. With digital electricity, the world can more quickly deploy new technology that will help intelligent buildings run their mission-critical applications. Digital electricity is also faster and can be less expensive to install than conventional electricity. It safely delivers significant power across long distances using smaller conductors, providing enough power to support an intelligent building's entire wireless system, including digital signage, distributed antenna systems, media converters, optical network terminals, power over ethernet switches, routers and servers, smart displays, smart LED systems, and wireless access points. The list is nearly endless. As a Class 4 system, digital electricity functions much differently than traditional power distribution methods. Digital electricity splits electricity into small, safe packets of energy. You can think of these energy packets just like the data packets that travel over a network to their destination. Every second, hundreds of these energy packets are sent from a transmitter to a receiver over a network, similar to how data packets travel from one point to another over a data network. The transmitter, which looks a lot like a server, takes in AC or DC power, whether from the grid, an uninterruptible power supply, or renewable sources, and converts it to digital electricity before it's sent out on individual electrical circuits, much like a breaker panel. From there, digital electricity cables distribute the energy packets to wherever they need to go. These cables are flexible, small gauge, and lightweight. The receiver receives the packets that are sent by the transmitter and converts them into the required format, either AC or DC power. Throughout this entire process, the energy packets are monitored for safety by the system itself. If a problem arises that could cause a safety issue, then the system immediately stops sending packets, preventing injury or damage. So what makes digital electricity such a perfect fit for intelligent buildings? There are many factors, but five major benefits stand out. Let's break them down. First, when it comes to deployment, digital electricity wins out over traditional power distribution. It's not only faster to install and deploy, as we've mentioned, but it also supports easy reconfiguration as the needs of your building and its users change. Updates can be made on the fly without lots of pre-planning, disruption, or additional expense. Depending on your jurisdiction, you may not even need permits to make changes to the system. Once they're trained, your own in-house IT or technology teams can add new devices to the network, from new LED fixtures to new wireless access points, and complete moves, adds, and changes easily with digital electricity. Because it isn't dangerous or intrusive to install, occupants don't have to be relocated during digital electricity projects. There's no core drilling with large gauge cables and conduit. There are no transformers and circuit breakers to worry about. Because it's faster to install, digital electricity is also more cost effective to install than traditional power distribution methods. This is the second benefit that digital electricity brings to intelligent buildings. 
it helps you maximize your intelligent building investments. To deploy digital electricity, all you need are transmitters, receivers, and cables. There's no need for conduit or armored cabling. This makes device setup and powering fast and easy, so you can get your technology projects done sooner. Even when transferring thousands of watts of power, networks that utilize digital electricity can be installed at a lower cost than traditional networks. The cables that carry digital electricity can be run through existing cable trays to double or even triple the amount of power you can bring to your intelligent building equipment. Digital electricity cables can be installed by the same contractors that install traditional power over ethernet cables, depending on your jurisdiction. This helps you reduce project costs even more. Just like traditional buildings, intelligent buildings need power to function. But placing local power outlets where they're needed in order to connect devices and equipment can be costly, difficult, and sometimes nearly impossible due to limitations, lack of access, or space constraints. The third benefit of digital electricity is its ability to keep an intelligent building reliably connected and overcome power over ethernet distance limitations of category cable networks through remote power. Digital electricity enables remote distribution and transmission, reliably transferring power and data across extended reaches so you can connect systems and devices that aren't near a power outlet or telecommunications closet. Intelligent buildings are all about energy management, monitoring, and control, and so is digital electricity. This is yet another reason that it works so well to support intelligent buildings. Its embedded data and control capabilities can be used to remotely power and centrally back up distributed antenna systems, edge servers, smart LED lighting, and sensor systems. The system supports inherent metering of energy on a room-by-room -room basis. If power goes out in a room, the system can instantly alert the appropriate party. This level of intelligent monitoring and control helps reduce wasted energy, decrease operating costs, and create ideal indoor environments for occupants. Finally, remember that intelligent buildings run on mission-critical applications that require network connectivity. Digital electricity can reduce downtime for these applications to make sure intelligent building systems can continue to run, no matter what. In an emergency outage, for example, the system's transmitter can run critical power to every office location to provide power to wireless systems. This means employees can continue working even when building power isn't available. This is something that conventional power distribution methods can't provide. While digital electricity is fairly new to the world of power, it's already being used in many real-world applications. The Hotel Marcel is a great example. As the United States' first net-zero hotel, it generates 100% of its own electricity, operating without fossil fuels and producing no carbon emissions. It's also the country's first Passive House certified hotel. Hotel Marcel's intelligent building technology is powered by Volt Server's digital electricity. Inside each guest room and suite is technology that supports precise monitoring and control so guests can customize their environment through a touchscreen controller. The large number of IoT devices in each room meant high power and data demands, but the building didn't have enough local power to deploy power over Ethernet switches in the existing telecommunications closets. The digital electricity power distribution platform makes it possible to deliver power in a simple, discrete way without the need for core drilling, large gauge cables and conduit, or transformers and circuit breakers. Volt Server's transmitters convert energy from the AC mains to digital electricity and then transmit it to remote Volt Server receivers. The receivers power the PoE switches in the telecommunications closets. The switches then provide power and data over Category 6 cable to a network of low voltage nodes. Each node acts as an intelligent hub for PoE lighting and IoT devices. The result is a single centralized source of power and data for all connected devices inside Hotel Marcel, while eliminating the need for separate power and data paths in this historic building. 
Hotel Marcel also experienced major cost savings by using digital electricity. It was able to reduce the number of contractors required to install the Intelligent Network's power and data infrastructure. Hotel Marcel is a great illustration of what digital electricity can do for intelligent buildings. What does it take to bring digital electricity to life? Is installation complicated? We've already mentioned that digital electricity is much easier to deploy than conventional AC systems. Let's explore why. Volt Server's digital electricity system is made up of only three components a transmitter chassis at the head end location, receivers, which are paired with the transmitter at remote node locations, and small gauge digital electricity cables to carry the digital electricity. We've covered the basics of how digital electricity works, but let's get into some installation specifics. The transmitter chassis takes traditional 48 volts DC or 208 to 277 volts AC power from the service panel and digitizes it into discrete energy packets. The transmitter chassis must be installed in an accessible, environmentally controlled location. The receivers at the remote node locations reconstitute the energy packets back into AC or DC power to feed electrical loads. DIN rail mounted connector blocks at the head end form a demarcation point between the transmitter card output cables and digital electricity cables. The connector blocks must be installed in an accessible, environmentally controlled location. I.O. junction boxes allow the receiver to connect to digital electricity cables on the input side and one or more loads on the output side. Now that we've covered the equipment required for a digital electricity system, let's talk about who should install it. The inherent safety of a fault managed power system means it can be installed using low voltage installation practices. To determine how you should approach installation, be sure to follow your local code requirements. Depending on your jurisdiction, low voltage installers and system integrators may be able to complete your installation. With more people available to do the work, installation can happen faster. Selecting the proper cables is a critical part of making sure your digital electricity system works like it should. Using small diameter lightweight cables and small conductors helps you save space and reduce costs. Be sure to choose a cable that's designed specifically for digital electricity. Here's why that's important. First, digital electricity cable maintains flexibility so that performance isn't impacted by the rigors of installation. Digital electricity cables are also easy to relocate and reuse without leaving stranded outlets or conduit behind. Because digital electricity supports low voltage insulation practices, the digital electricity power cables can be co-located with data wires. You can even integrate communications conductors or fiber optics with digital electricity into a single hybrid cable. This means fewer cables to pull, speeding up installation time, and reducing cost. As the need for power and connectivity continues to increase, many industry experts believe that fault-managed power systems will eventually overtake conventional electricity as the primary power backbone infrastructure for intelligent buildings. This is critical to consider as you think about your future intelligent building projects. As more buildings shift to this new power paradigm, you don't want to spend time and money building something that will be out of date as soon as it's operational. Volt Server is empowering the future of electricity distribution through digital innovation, and the future has never been more exciting. As intelligent buildings continue to take hold, we'll be here to make sure they have the infrastructure they need to run their mission-critical systems. To learn more, visit voltserver.com.